Oh hey, didn't see you there. Seems like every day, more and more kids are getting involved with leadership. And we think it's a time to clear up a few misconceptions. The traditional view of leadership holds that a leader should be directive and take charge of any situation. However, we know now that a true leader is able to adapt and overcome in any occasion. Let's take a look at a few ways that a real leader can do that. Transactional leadership is all about negotiating reward systems to enforce different behaviors. You want to exchange rewards for meeting the leader's expectations or provide corrective action when they're not met. This leadership style works best when employees or participants in the organization are in a highly structured, low relationship environment. It's about getting things done and moving forward rather than being close and connected with one another. A transactional leader that we know today is Donald Trump. In his trade deals, it's very clear that he's only willing to trade with people that are interested in trading with him. To encourage certain behaviors, he uses incentives like tariffs and taxes to keep people in line with what he desires most. This behavior can also be seen even in shows like The Apprentice. It's how he's moved his company forward. Big organizations making small steps forward happens through transactional leadership. In transformational leadership, uh, a leader works with their followers to identify need of change and create a vision to achieve that change. They understand their team well, they understand the strengths and weaknesses, and they serve as a role model for their followers, and they challenge their followers to take ownership of their work, and they create a team identity for them all to follow. An example of a transformational leader would be Elon Musk, and the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla as well. Uh, Elon Musk works to motivate his entire team to achieve things that no other private company has, uh, sending rockets to Mars and to the International Space Station. Relationship-oriented leadership is probably one of the most easily identifiable forms of leadership out there. In fact, I'm willing to bet that one of your favorite leaders was a relationship-oriented leader. And the reason I say that is because relationship-oriented leaders are leaders who don't, don't necessarily always focus on accomplishing the task, but instead they focus on things like communication and developing friendships and bonds with the people they're working with. They also focus on motivating their employees and making sure that their employees and coworkers accomplish personal goals through the work that they're doing. One of the most recognizable relationship-oriented leaders is former President Bill Clinton. President Bill Clinton is one that many people would say can make you feel passionate, involved, and important in anything he was talking to you about. He could be meeting you for the first time or have known you for years, but he was someone who you spoke to and you, feel, you felt empowered, you felt important, and you felt worthy. Uh, President Clinton is definitely someone who resembles a relationship-oriented leader. Task-oriented leadership is leadership which prioritizes identifying which steps um, that need to be taken for tasks to get done that fit into the larger plan overall. Task-oriented leadership make sure to prioritize protocol and procedures and standards of quality of work that need to be maintained in order for the company to be satisfied with what it delivers to its clients. An example of a situation where task-oriented leadership may come in handy is in a restaurant. Many things need to be done multiple times to serve many patrons and one worker in the chain relies on the work that another worker has done and handed to them. Fiedler's contingency model aids leaders in multiple situations decide which type of leadership style is best for that situation. Fiedler's model is based upon the belief that no one leadership style is better than the other, but each has their place in a different type of situation. A leader that is able to do this and shift their leadership style to their environment will be a successful leader. So this type of leadership is very good for a modern day, fast-paced work environment where situations are constantly changing. It helps the leaders stay relevant and effective in their workplace. When the situation is extremely favorable, extremely unfavorable, or moderately favorable, task-oriented style works much better. 
when situations are moderately unfavorable or only leader member relations is unfavorable, relations oriented style are much better. Either way, if a, leader, if a leader is able to change their leadership style to fit their environment, they're going to be an effective leader. Oh hey, welcome back. We hope you've learned a little bit more about the two main dimensions of leadership, between task and relationship oriented and transactional and transformational leadership. Should you attempt a more versatile style of leadership and fill in all needs where necessary, or should you bring in more people and attempt a more concerted method of leadership? Ultimately, that decision is up to you, and it depends strongly on your strengths. But above all else, always know that in any particular situation, a different method of leadership is necessary.